Hey all, welcome back. Uh, today's video is about using Apache eCharts on Grafana. Now, one of the main reasons to use something like an external library in Grafana is because uh, standalone Grafana panels are missing a crucial feature uh, that can make or break a dashboard. And that is probably, or that is actually why we initially switched to uh, using Apache eCharts and now we see using it more and more. And the missing feature in this case was plotting non time series on the x axis. So, Grafana plugins by default don't support plotting anything on the x axis uh, that is not time. So, the way to solve this is by using an external library. In our case, we are using the Apache eCharts uh, plugin by Volkov Labs, uh, and we have used many of their plugins. Uh, they look and work well. I'll leave a link to this plugin and to Volkov Labs in the description below. So feel free to check those out. So moving on, here's a simple example uh, of a scatter plot. Now we are getting uh, torque, RPM, and current from our data, and we want to look at how current looks over torque and RPM. So it's essentially current over torque and RPM. And if I open it up, I've got a state static data source, which essentially is mocking three data points, RPM, talk current. I have some, a bunch of values for each field. And this is how the data looks like. So in this case, we are plotting RPM on the X axis and torque on the Y axis. And then those number points, oh, sorry, the, and the color corresponds to a current. And to do that, I have three buckets, RPM, torque, and current, and a result bucket. And essentially, I'm pulling my series from this context.panel.data variable, and then passing those to RPM, current, and torque buckets, and then eventually forming, a, uh, forming another array, which combines all these uh, values and then this result is a, is finally used at a data source for that scatter plot and most of it is similar to the apache echar example that you can find on uh, apache echar's website so i'm looking at the scatter plot And instead of data, we are using our defined uh, source, which is our result array. And then I have a few uh, added features, uh, which kind of gives us which point are we hovering over, and then uh, the value of the point, and then on the series, I'm color coding point based on the returned uh, a number so if my current is less than 20 then it's green if my current is more than 50 then it's yellow and then otherwise it's essentially red so this is essentially a very quick way to use apache e-charts with static data source uh, so we can also look at using data from an api so this is uh, so this is a similar plot and the data is coming from the infinity api plugin which is again another one of uh, Volkov Lab, Labs plugin. Our data comes in similar format. There's an extra field here, time, which we are not planning to use. And the format is similar. I have a few buckets uh, defined and then I'm picking data from my data source, which in this case is Infinity API. And then I'm plotting this whole uh, scatter plot. And if you go to Volkov Labs Business Chart Plugin website, you all, uh, they already have a bunch of examples that are already in built uh, in Grafana. So you can actually just copy them and then uh, use them on your dashboard. So here, you all you have to do is update the data source uh, based on the requirement. And it kind of takes care of 70% of the work. So I hope this helped. So this is a quick way to plot something in Grafana that doesn't have a time range attached to it. 
and in this case we are using Apache eCharts or uh, business charts I think that's the new name uh, yeah feel free to comment if you have any questions and make sure to like and subscribe thanks